Right, this is going to be a really quick video, hopefully. Um, I have uh, been playing with these screeners, as you know. I'm not going to go into the details of the screeners because uh, the actual uh, screen, because uh, it is on the video I just posted recently. In fact, you can have a look at the settings, might as well. Uh, it's all very straightforward. Price above the SMA5, price above the SMA, uh, sorry, the SMA50, SMA200, uh, not oversold. In fact, let's change that to all and then you can see all the settings. Apologies, uh, I didn't intend to do this, but uh, okay. So here's the settings for this uh, screener. The yellow ones are highlighted there. Uh, above the 50, above the 200, not oversold. Um, above 50 and uh, over 200k and that's it very very basic and uh, you get uh, a lot of results out of this so um, and then let's look at the charts so switched it to charts from overview so overview would give you this and what I did was uh, to filter the the lower priced ones I just changed uh, double click that to get the pricing from the penny stocks uh, but you can change this if you're familiar with finviz which i am not uh, you can change this to uh, you know descending order ascending order and so on and so forth so uh, um, but uh, just to find the lower price stocks that uh, may interest the majority of people uh, just getting into this sort of stuff uh, then um, set it to charts and because I'm enjoying the line chart so much what I did was uh, uh, set it to line chart there and then um, what are we on are we on page one yet yeah, we're on page one so then um, all I've got to look for really is a breakout like the high there I want to see the line chart break out above that high so it's a very very quick job then to um, filter out the um, or find the best looking charts. Nothing on uh, this page by the looks of it. Uh, oh, D D Y N T looks okay. So I'll have a look at that one later. I missed that one in the first uh, look. In fact, let's go and blow that up. Ah, uh, yeah. So. Um, it's broken the high there. I'm just loving this Finviz. It's just absolutely brilliant. Um, yeah, so we've broken out the high. So basically, if uh, then I'd switch to um, the uh, trading view and bring up this uh, ticker and um, and then do the analysis on it. Simple as that. And then uh, I'll just stick them on Twitter so that I can... Uh, look back and see what's happening because uh, if you're not aware of what I'm doing I'm a 17 18 years uh, chart and analyst of uh, and trader of forex and uh, now I'm switching to stocks and it's all because of covid lockdown I would normally have been uh, just trading my way through forex oblivious to all of this um, and finishing usually about eight o'clock in the morning a couple of hours maximum work normally you can get away with one uh, 15 minutes sometimes some days um, but anyway I digress so let's go back and have a look at another chart um, yeah that's the one it's so so easy to spot these once you you realize what you're looking for the line chart sorry my mouse is playing up today don't know whether I've got some software interfering with it but uh, next page and what have we got? Oops, that's just an alert going off on ETH Ethereum. That's uh, that's broken out of a high there, so that looks all right. BGI, that's one I've analysed and posted on Twitter. You can clearly see what's going on there. Got an uptrend in place. Low, high, high, low, high, high. Broken. The downtrend, high, low, lower, high, lower, low. This is looking extremely good for a potential long trade on this daily chart. So I've analysed that one from the monthly down. Stuck it on Twitter. Back to 
finding one that I haven't spoke. Uh, this one's a oh, that's a breakout of a trend as well. High, low, lower, high, lower, low, low, high, slightly lower, higher, low. Didn't really pull back, but it's uh, in a uptrend now, so that's good. That would be good to look at. Um, definitely would most likely if it hasn't tested that on the candles, uh, then it's going to go up and test that likely, and uh, then try and break out of this. I should imagine big old range going on there, 227. Uh, once it gets past that, then uh, it looks like it's liable to go further up. But um, let's see how many others we can find. We're into virtually virgin territory here now. Page three. Just showing you really how quick it is to identify uh, possible breakouts. There's one there, just broken through a high there, got a gap up to there, and ultimately there. Let's have a look at it. So you've got the breakout. This one hasn't trended through that high there. So um, low, high, high, low. Or should I say high, low, lower, high, lower, low. We've not. We've just had one swing breakout, so I pull back to test that, and then the next step would be there, and potentially up to there as well. So, uh, and it's interesting to see. You know, we're on a sort of uh, breaking through an old resistance level there, minor resistance in the uptrend. So uh, it's definitely looking very worthwhile to the upside. Uh, what else have we got? Oh, this one's nice. GLG. Uptrend going on there, low, high, high, low, and we've broken out of the, um, you can't see it with the crosshairs on there, yeah, you can clearly see it there, broken out of the high, so I would go to uh, uh, trading view and have a look at that too, under normal circumstances, broken out of a high on that one, NDRA, All nice little penny stocks as well, which is interesting. There, you can clearly see that uh, has just broken out. I'm talking about that high there. Uh, let's see if we can get this up on trading view. NDRA. Yeah, we've got most of the screen. I wasn't going to bring trading view into the uh, video, but as always, I get uh, excited about these new things. Had it there, yep. So, daily chart, we're on that already. Uh, you can clearly see three three candle reversal to the upside, little bit of momentum come back into the charts, and this is what I would normally do now. Week um, weekly is strong with that massive, you know, it's effectively a weekly hammer. End of the month, end of the week, end of the month, uh, massive old three CR up, and as you know, we often Oh, right, I've already um, analysed this one, actually, in the past and talked about it. 3CR wick fills are fascinating, yeah, and uh, as you can see, it filled that wick there. It might not have been filled when I made this uh, previous chart, but uh, it was on my radar already. Um, no surprises there, then. Let's go back to Finviz. Um, yeah, that one's just broken out of the, um, that, oh no, listed VTGN's on my list as well. Ah, uh, that one there, CGL, uh, GLG we were talking about, um, MBII, I think I've actually, um, studied that one today as a, as a potential good one. That's broken out of the high there, Crex. So easy to spot these things once you get an eye for them. That's why the line charts are so good. Just broken out. Don't know how I managed to spot that. But it has just broken out. Let's have a look on the CR. I think this is probably on my watch list as well. CREX. Go to the daily. 
Me quedo en lo ancho. So we've got three candle reversal and we have just broken out of there with momentum. Then we've got the little pullback. Uh, what am I looking at for candles? So that's the 3CR, that's the pullback. This does look ready to go actually. H4 would have to come back into alignment to the long side. So uh, H4, 3CR, pullback. This is actually textbook. And what you would expect to see was a, a new push up with momentum on the RSI. Something like this situation here. Uh, and then we're good to go. So that would be, that's a useful watcher. This is how I find all my charts, guys. It's just a question of um, using the um, using the uh, Finviz thing. And then what you would do, because this is a good one, and no doubt there's a thousand other people watching this. See, you can't quite see it in the screen. C-R-E-X. Um, all you need to go to is Twitter. And then uh, type in that uh, ticker and you will probably find there's about 100 people looking at it. And they will also post other ones they're looking at as well. I mean, it's that straightforward to find these charts now. So let's put it in actually. Uh, so this video has gone on longer than I expected it to, but uh, hopefully you find some value in it. CREX, and then I would click, click it on the latest, and then before you know it, you've got a Pandora's box full of other stocks and shares that people are looking at for various reasons. And uh, off you go, you can look CREX in there, and uh, this guy's uh, uploaded another load of uh, possible tickers. I always like to find the guys that. Uh, probably have two or three hundred followers and probably just list one or two of the, the stocks they like and they will probably be serious guys putting their money where their mouth is and uh, actually trading these things so something like this for example 266 vol uh, followers um, GSAT adding heavy, undervalued, $5 plus. So I'd be straight all, all over that like a rash. In fact, we can have a look at it now. GSAT. Probably on my list if it's uh, um, looking interesting to someone. Yeah, I've definitely been looking at this at some stage because I've got stuff on there. So, um, yeah, I would have been looking at that for a potential long there. But uh, as we can see, it's pulled back strongly. Now, simple, plain and simple. This is a four hour chart. We threw to yard up. We deep pull back. Um, you know, when you know what you're looking for, we're on. We've tested this resistance here, minor resistance in the uptrend as support. So this has got work to do, <clears throat> but I do know a lot of these stock traders now, and this is hard to get my head around. They start, they add in, you know, start with small positions and then add and add and add and then take off, take off, take off as it grows. Um, nothing, nothing like what I'm used to doing as a scalper. But, um, you know, as I've said many, many times before as well, all you've got to do is look at the historical stuff to see what you're waiting for. You know, just look back. And I've said this before on videos, if you watched any of mine. It's so refreshing just to be looking for long trades. Just having a watch list of all this stuff. Uh, even this information, you can't quite see it all over here. But even all this information on your watch list of the uh, change in percent is fascinating to me. It's just a whole new... Um, box of toys to play with to be honest with you because um you know you they're pre-qualified if they're going up all you've got to do is make sure they've got everything else all the other boxes tick like the monthly and the weekly massive monthly move up and uh, just wait for the, literally the saying that i like to use and many other traders do wait for the trade to come to you so uh you know you can't possibly consider entering this until at least at least it wants to be green on the weekly. And when it does turn green, that's when you can start to get into the trades using the proper triggers, you know, strong momentum and then dropping down again. 
and waiting for the pullback and then strong momentum. And this one's building up gradually with the H43CR. It could come down. Remember, it can always, you know, they're building, they're building positions from these levels of uh, previous demand, uh, as it were. So support demand, I prefer to use demand. And, um, you know, so this nev price never goes in a straight line. You know, that's something important to remember. You might think it was going up there, but, you know, it's done no sort of accumulation here. Look how long it took for this to uh, do its stuff. So expect it to play around. Be prepared for it to play around and just get into the trade when it's ready to go. That's all there is to it. That's why we always wait for, you know, instead of taking that, and hitting that there was no momentum to the upside on that 3CR what you want to see is strong momentum on a new 3CR here strong momentum uh, involved in here then a little bit well 12 hours or probably two days because you got uh, you don't stocks aren't 24 7 are they so lots of work uh, going on there but um, and lots of useful information on these uh, these uh, screeners and I'm really really loving them which is why I made this video and it's taken far longer than uh, I intended to do it but hopefully as I say the information is useful to you so let's just find one more example on here easy easy to eliminate the ones that aren't interesting at all that's an uptrend there low high high low high high so it's a daily chart so you'd expect it to potentially pull back and continue and uh, it is that simple. Let's find another one. I haven't actually got onto page four yet. So, um, no trends going up there. That's an uptrend. That's just broken the high there, but that's uh, running straight into resistance. But it's an interesting one. This is a trend, strong trend there. Looks like it's busting through there. So that's another interesting one. This is just breaking out of the high here. Loads on page four. It's just phenomenal the amount of um, possibilities you get with these things. I'm absolutely loving it. That's broken out. It's broken out of that as well. Next stop up here. There, yeah, so it's just there are opportunities absolutely everywhere. Let's have a look at that one quickly. I do apologize, I didn't mean to make this uh, so long. HGBL. All these penny stocks that are just there for the grabbing yeah three cr up momentum this is h4 daily massive momentum weekly three cr momentum into a wick which is nice although that is a double top so it'd need work need study and so what i do now then obviously is um do my analysis have a quick uh, flick onto uh, twitter see what the uh, jungle drums are saying and uh, and then make the assessment there and remember i'm only trading using the 30 minute 5 minute entries um 15 minute every time frame i only go down to the h4 on that purely because each tweet is allowed four pictures and uh, and then um you know then do the rest of the legwork so you know it's your Every time frame is leading the way with these things, and uh, then it's just a question of ticking all the different other boxes as well, which you become uh, familiar with. So we had a on this daily chart, we've had a big old push up for whatever reason. Uh, we'll probably find that on Twitter. They'll say what it is, and then a pullback, and then a new break up to the long side. Let's have a look at that line chart again. Yeah, and. Uh, clearly using this as a breakout area like i said before and then looking on the uh, weekly chart we've got uh, our potential target area up there so 
Okay, this went on far longer than I expected to. Hopefully it's been of some value to you. And uh, remember, those screeners, uh, they are uh, priceless, especially when you become familiar with looking at line charts as well. You know, it, you can see the what's happened so clearly. You know, over here, it's used um, old uh, resistance in the downtrend as support and uh, flick to the candlesticks and you'll see what's gone on there just so good thank you for watching have a great evening it's sunday evening have uh, a great start to monday tomorrow